precious time. I cover this broadcast with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Shalom. Good morning and win today. Win forever. Wherever you are watching me from, whatever time it might be, may the Lord bless you and open doors for victory. As we are hearing this on our today's message, on our today's sermon, how to be delivered from the spirit, or I'll call it the giant of rejection. A rejection is very dangerous because when sometime when you I got a spirit of rejection, you might not know, you might not notice it that you you got a spirit of rejection. Many people got the spirit of rejection. Not just many people, everyone has got the spirit of rejection, most. So you have to be delivered from it. This is why sometimes when you are not properly delivered, you will always be finding rejection in every area of your life. You try to apply for a job, you are rejected. When you are getting married, when somebody is about to pay the bride price, they just leave you. When somebody promises you to do business with you, they promise to come with financial support, then from nowhere you hear them telling you another story about you to say, you, I had this about you, I had this about you. That is a spirit of rejection. So let us start by identifying. Let me not say identifying. How can I put it in English? Uh, the spirit of rejection, if you want to see that you got the spirit of rejection, you can just study yourself and have a look on your life. For example, uh, how things are going in your life. As I said in the beginning, rejection, you have to fight it every day. It's not like a, a simple thing. Dealing with the spirit of rejection demands a lot of patience, a lot of humility. Because you have to love more. You have to love more. In that moment, in that time when you are being rejected, you, you just have to love more. Then you can overcome rejection. Okay. For example, the way some of us were born, it might be you who is listening to this broadcast. Sometimes you discover that you grew up in a family whereby it was not necessarily your mother or your father or it was maybe a stepmom, or your dad denied the pregnancy when she, he impregnated your mother. Or even sometimes, some are mothers who reject their own child, especially you find a little child is taken somewhere to the grandmother, to the aunt, to the uncle, and the mother is not there. As you are growing up as a child, when you are seeing other family, together, you are seeing the mom and dad, then you can actually pick that, you, you, you feel rejected from that young age, and that becomes your bondage as you are growing up. So now, for you to have a breakthrough, for you to succeed, there is a lot that you need to learn. Because sometimes uh, people with rejection, how can I put it in English? When you are rejected from the childish, from your child life when you are growing up, when you have grown to a certain age, sometimes even when, when things are not coming, coming your way, you quickly say, ah, it's fine, it's fine. But you know that it's not fine. You know deep down that it's not fine. You know that you really, really want to improve in this area, but you just cut and just say, ah, no. It's fine, it's fine, I, 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 I I'll see what I can do. But deep down you know. Why? Because your heart has lost it already when you are growing up. You think that people don't care about you. So when you see yourself that you are struggling with that kind of an issue, it is rejection. When you see yourself sometimes if you are a woman, how many men have come your way? All of them, they propose, everything starts well, but... On the long run, you discover a man is no longer interested in you, 
you find out that they are already uh, they've already maybe started going out with someone that is rejection i mentioned earlier on that sometimes you send cvs everywhere sometimes they even call you and say i oh, know we are sorry we can't take you they give you a silly explanation but your friends called you they told you to say my brother my sister go there submit your application they are really really looking for people you go there you happen to be the first person but they don't even call you they call the person who went there last who doesn't even have an experience so you when people now tell you to say but i don't know what is going on my brother but because you you were the first one to enter there and it took two days another guy who came on the third day or another somebody who came on the fourth day they took him in immediately it's a spirit of rejection so when you identify what I am talking about to say, okay, this is what is happening in my life. So discover and you need to know that you got the spirit of rejection and it is your duty to fight it. So now how do you deal with the spirit of rejection? Let me read for you the Bible. An interesting message. Right. James chapter 4. James chapter 4. Let me quickly get there with your Bible. James chapter 4. Lord, help me to get there quick. Right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. James chapter 4, verse 10. It says, Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. You are the one to practice more humility when you discover that you are being rejected in everything that you do and uh, if you want to succeed if you want to overcome the spirit of rejection first of all you need to know that there is a price to pay and it's not easy you will be shamed you'll be humiliated wrong things can actually even be said about you but do not worry you know that i've got this problem i was born like this and I desire to be set free from it. You can actually help yourself to come out of spirit of rejection before asking for prayer. You can actually help yourself come out of the spirit of rejection. As I say that rejection can make you send people away. Sometimes when you got rejection, it's actually you when you got the spirit of rejection. Uh, it's actually you who rejects offers because that spirit is in you. You're getting what I'm saying? You push people away from you when you've got the spirit of rejection. This is why you discover that uh, you don't click with people. If you want to notice also the spirit of rejection, you don't click with people that much. Quickly, quickly, you, you are too quick to pick mistakes of people to say, okay, this person has got this problem, this person has got this problem. And you forget one thing. No one is perfect in your life. Even those around you, they can be highly anointed. They can be blessed with material and having everything that we all desire to have. But everyone has got pride. So you... Because you got this spirit of rejection, you are too quick to pick mistake of people to see that no, that person is wrong, that person is wrong. And you even say that person has got pride. You are getting what I'm saying? So automatically you push people away, forgetting that we, we climb ladders in life when we meet people every day. When we meet people, this is where we climb ladders. We excel and we go to the other level. And it is people who also connect us with other people for us to reach a destiny. This is why you see the journey of our life. You are married today. You discover that for you to get that husband, maybe you travel to the city. When you travel to the city, maybe you stayed with your aunt, with your uncle or whoever. They were the channel that God used for you to meet your husband. They were the channel that God used for you to meet what? Your husband. This is the circle of life. You cannot live alone. You need to know that you cannot live alone. But because you got the spirit of rejection, you, you, you yourself, you push people away. Even when people are coming trying to help you, what you say with your mouth sometimes. 
You can be blessed. You can be blessed with a certain type of gift. You are good at doing this. You are good at doing this. You are good at doing this. But because you have got rejection, small things, small things, they make you to push people away. Just small things. A minor mistake. Even if when you hear that a person said this about you, just let, let gossip end with you. Just know people because just say, Lord, I thank you that you have revealed this person's heart. And also pray for the one who has delivered the message for you, to you. Except it is a message to kill you. That's where you can say yes. You can maybe, I don't know how, you, how to put it. But if it's things that they said, you said this, you said this, yeah, this person said you, got, you are arrogant, this person says you are rude, this person says you are proud. Just sit down. Stop confronting people over unnecessary debates. So when you notice that you, you are suffering from the spirit of rejection, you need to know that it's a great war that you are fighting every day. Rejection goes hand in hand with pride. Let me repeat, child of God. Rejection, it goes hand in hand with pride. By the grace of God, when you tune into my sermons, those that the Lord has appointed me to touch, I will touch you in the name of Jesus Christ. We are dealing with the spirit of rejection. Many of us are rejected. Many of us are rejected, but we don't know how to come out of rejection. To come out of the spirit of rejection, it requires a lot of humility. To come out of the spirit of rejection, you will be shamed in so many ways, in so many times. I repeat again, it's never easy to come out of the spirit of rejection because sometimes we think we are better than them. But why is it us with them? What? With this power of rejection so when you want to deal with it rejection look how you were born are you male or female whoever it is today the lord will help us look how you are born how you are raised you start from there to deal with rejection you can know it's not that you have to blame them no you just have to know to say okay this thing is following me this rejection is pursuing me. So I must also mind the way I talk to people. I must be very, very careful. I must be very, very careful the way I talk to people, the way I address matters, even if people are wrong. Because the spirit of rejection, it comes to bring confusion. Wherever there are people, whenever you are involved, whenever some, you don't know that person is busy planning good things about you. But because of a certain mistakes, that they are making you you are quickly to pick mistakes a person you, you can have the spirit of rejection not noticing it you can be looking successful but let me tell you something you you are supposed to be better than this you might think that you have reached it but because it's your gift that god has given you but because you got this rejection and you are nurturing it you are nursing it and you're even growing big in it you are not noticing that ah the devil is destroying me so what is in you what is in you this is why you see that two days you are happy with people two days you're not happy with people that is rejection you notice to say ah sometimes you are the one who, who, who would delete people's phones numbers from nowhere just a small issue small quarrel small quarrel nowadays we got uh, our communications yes there is access to block anyone small quarrel let me repeat a small small quarrel something that can be solved with the mouth something that you can even say sorry something that you can even approach a person and say um i am very sorry the way i treated you i'm very sorry you discover that it makes you to delete their number then you forget now you need something <laughs> lord help us you have deleted my number then you remember one day you need prayer. Now where will you start? You don't know. You're now calling your friend who's got my number to say, uh, please, can I have uh, Brother Sorenso's number? I want, to, I want to talk to him. But you had my number and you just deleted them. Some of you, maybe family things, family groups and so forth and so forth. Then you discover to say, ah, but there is an information that I need now from my family. But I can't access it because I already removed myself from the family matters. I already removed myself from the family group. 
I believe I'm talking to you as you're watching me. Even as you are just watching for three seconds or what, as you are hearing this, I am talking to you. May the Lord help us. Because it is rejection that has stopped us to progress. It is this rejection that is making us to be failures in life. We reject people. We reject people with our actions. We reject people even, sometimes others we can even call. We can even call a person and give them our peace of mind to say, you are this, you are this, and you, you don't know that the devil is using you to destroy yourself. So, child of God, you can be delivered completely from the spirit of rejection if only you exercise humility, humility and patience. If only you can believe and know that no one is perfect in this world. Irregardless of how a person might look, even, even how blessed they are with material, even how a person can be anointed, everyone makes mistakes. Everyone tells a lie. The Bible tells us that everyone lies to his neighbor. So never ever think that with the people that are around you, everyone is truthful. Everyone is telling you the truth always. No, never think like that. In every relationship that you have, every relation that you have, whether with family members, whether with friends, including those that are even married, always know that you can be told lies. Let me repeat, always know that you can be told lies. So to deal with rejection, child of God, requires a lot of humility. As you are tuned in, to deal with that rejection, if you feel rejected, you have to pray. You have to pray so that you come out of that spirit of rejection. You have to pray and continuously trust God that the Lord will deliver you, that the Lord will set you free. So child of God, how, how, how do you come out of rejection? This is where it is important. I've spoken about areas where you just have to notice that, no, I got the spirit of rejection and I need to deal with it. First, let's go back a little bit. Check the way how you are raised, where you grew up, your family. Some of us were rejected by our parents, those that gave birth to us. Your father said to your mother, this is not my child. He had to accept you later on, maybe when you came, your ears, your mouth, your mouth, your nose, like him, and there was no choice. There was nothing. He could not even say no. So child of God, to come out of the spirit of rejection, to come out of the spirit of rejection. Pay attention. So to come out of the spirit of rejection, you can actually come out if you obey God's word. Because the God's word, it is the standard of our life. It teaches us how to survive on this planet Earth. Let's go to the book of James again. James chapter... James 1, verse 19. Therefore, James chapter 1, verse 19. Therefore, my beloved brethren, let every man, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath, for the wrath of man does not produce the righteousness of God, the wrath of men, your anger, your anger, my anger, does not produce the righteousness of God. We say quite a lot of things when we are angry. Let me read it in NLT version, because NLT is simple and clear English. I also understand it better. Understand this, my dear brothers and sisters. You must all be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to get angry. Human anger does not produce the righteousness God desires. Human anger, our anger, when we are angry as human beings, that our anger does not produce the righteousness of God. It it fuels up the rejection that is already in us. 
Let me repeat this so that you understand it. Thank you if you are tuned in from the beginning of the message until now. If you are not, after the end of this broadcast, you can rewind, start afresh, and pay attention because we must be delivered from this spirit of rejection. We have to be set free from this spirit of rejection. Sometimes you don't need a prayer to be delivered from the spirit of rejection. Sometimes you have to master the game of life. That's why we are given the Bible as our manual for this world, for this life, until we depart. Because whether we like it or not, we are not here permanent. But there is an owner of this world who has got all the standards on how we have to survive it. So if you pay attention to what is written in the Holy Book, study the Word of God, then most things that we are seeking help and deliverance from, we don't actually need it. This is why when you open Deuteronomy 28, right, you will hear God talking about cases, right? Read it for yourself. Blessings on obedience, right? It's Deuteronomy 28. Read it. Read the whole of it because there are blessings and there are also cases. Deuteronomy 28. I will not go there much, but I'm just like sharing with you. I'm talking scripture here. So as the book of James is saying to us, let me repeat it, NLT, the clear one, that we will all understand, the simple English, NLT version, James chapter 1 from verse 19 to 20. Understand this, my dear brothers and sisters, you must all be quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to get angry. Human anger does not produce the righteousness God desires, right? When I am angry, I want you to be dead. When I'm angry, I want, I just wish anything bad can happen to you. And that is not the righteousness of God. So immediately, when you are angry, you fuel up. You are fuming. Check what we say with our mouth when we are angry. We actually destroy people. To an extent that when you are angry for someone, and you hear that they are dead, you rejoice. You can even, not even say it out, but your heart is rejoicing. And God is not happy with that. That's why you have to have a heart like David, irregardless of what Paul Saul did to him, but he never stretched out his hand to kill his master. But me and you today, when those that are in leadership, when those that we are looking at, when they make a mistake, we want everything about them destroyed. This is why the Bible says, James 1 verse 19 to 20, that our anger, the human anger, it does not produce the righteousness of God. When we are angry, we want to destroy. And it is because of that rejection. Because that rejection is in us. We also reject them. We also reject people. Hence, we will never amount to anything in life. We will never reach our destinies. So, child of God, no matter how painful your issue might be, no matter how painful your situation might be, always remember, you might be having a spirit of rejection and it is fighting you so that you yourself reject people. You yourself will not go to family gatherings. Sometimes to even places of worship, you reject everybody. Deal with the spirit of rejection yourself, child of God. Practice humility. I know even when you are in the midst of that congregation where you know that people have said wrong things about you, sometimes it is heavy. This is what God wants. Go there, worship, and say, Lord, I'm only here for you. Yes, these people might have said this about me. Yes, I might have. Because sometimes we, we also make mistakes. You know, it is in human nature that when you make a mistake, we want to destroy you. We want to finish about you. Especially people like me, the servants of God. To people, us, we servants of God, to people, we are not supposed to make a mistake. Because as a servant of God, your life must be straightforward. Yes, the Bible requires us to do so. Correct. But we are in this world where it is filled with destruction. We also get angry and our anger does not produce the righteousness of Christ. But thank God, because 
the righteousness of Christ make us who we are. This is why sometimes a servant of God can be angry, but he, when he goes or she goes to her house or his house, he kneels down and prays for you. Because a true servant of God knows to rewind what transpired, what happened during the day. Same applies to you. Teach yourself that. Every day before you sleep, rewind. Who have I offended? Who did I speak ill of today? Because to deal with rejection sometimes, it demands you to pick up your phone and call them and say, please, I know I wronged you. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. Yes, it is true. We go through that process. We go through that avenue. And there is nothing you can do about it. We go through that process. We go through that avenue. So you can come out of rejection. Right. You can come out of rejection on your own. Because the people you rejected, because of this power that is in you, were the ones that God had ordained for you and your journey here in this world. Believe it or not, child of God, you cannot make it alone. There are people that God has put in our lives to help us in this journey of life. There are people that God has put to help us in this journey of life. So, child of God, no matter the obstacle, no matter the situation, no matter what you are passing through, no matter what you are going through, no matter the kind of obstacle that you are facing as a person in life, deal with rejection. Rejection is dangerous, people of God. Allow me to repeat this. The worst demon a man can ever deal with, it is a demon of rejection because you destroy yourself by rejecting people. And you might think that is them rejecting them, but look at how you do things. For even as I'm talking to you right now, check how many people you have blocked in your phone. How many people you have sent messages that cut them into pieces. Remember, Galatians, you reap what you sow. When you sow love into people, irregardless of the hatred they have shown you, Someday you will receive, you will be rewarded with love. When you sow bitterness, yes, this is what you're going to reap. For God cannot be mocked. Let us go to the word of God. Galatians chapter 5. Father, we thank you for your spirit is moving with us. Today we are being impacted with the spirit and the anointing to excel, to overcome and to defeat the devil. Right. Galatians chapter 6. Yes, it's chapter 6 actually. I'll read it. Verse 8. For he who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. But he who sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap everlasting life. Verse 7. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. Continue to walk in the truth and in the righteousness of God, and God will bless you. Continue planting good, continue planting good, irregardless of what people are doing to you. Slowly but surely, you will be delivering yourself from the spirit of rejection. Because of this good thing that you are planting, your CV will be remembered where it is. That business idea that you spoke to a wealthy person will be remembered. That person will say, ah, oh, there is a young man or there is a man or there is a woman who spoke to me about this business. Let me help him. It is God who will do it for you. But because you have not dealt with rejection. You keep on rejection, rejecting people whom God is bringing close to you to help you. The devil is pushing you, is using you to destroy your destiny. Every day the devil is using you to destroy your destiny, but you, you are not aware of it. So to deal and to be delivered from the spirit of rejection, get rid of anger. Defeat anger 
with love. Exercise love more. Yes. Exercise love the more. In every day of your life when you want to defeat and destroy the spirit of rejection, exercise love. And know that when you start exercising love, the devil will fight that love every day. So you now need to know that when there is an opposition between you and your fellow brother and your fellow sister, please destroy. Do not allow the devil to destroy you. Exercise love. It is done. It's just a message that God gave me because many of us feel rejected. Many of us have been rejected. Many of us are rejecting people that God has sent to bless them. So, as long as you have not dealt with rejection, your success is still very far. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So today, let us pray together. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the precious blood of Jesus Christ, let us pray. Father, as I stretch my hand towards the viewer of this message, to the one who is listening to this message, Lord, I pray that they will be alert of anything that the enemy is using to destroy it lives, their destinies, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, the name above all names, Lord, I pray that your people who are called by your name, they will receive a proper direction on how to overcome this evil spirit of rejection. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Touch your children. Lord Jesus Christ, direct your children. As this person is touching my hand with faith, Lord, I rebuke that evil power of rejection that is controlling their destiny in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray, my Father, my God, as I rebuke that rejection, let a new door be opened, the door of success, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever evil the devil has planted through rejection, being them rejecting people, may their eyes be opened in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Child of God, I pray for you right now that from today you will master your life in the name of Jesus Christ. That from today, that giant, that evil spirit that has been tormenting you, causing you to reject good people, causing you to be rejected by good people, I command it out in the name of Jesus Christ. That evil spirit that keeps on tormenting you, that is making you to reject people, and that is making you to be rejected by people, I command it to leave you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are connected with me from, I command that evil spirit of rejection, I command it to leave you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That unclean spirit that is tormenting your life, that is causing you to be rejected, I command it out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my Father, my God, and I bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. I believe that the Holy Spirit is touching you wherever you are watching me from. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. May the name of the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, in the name of Jesus Christ, locate you. May the God that we call upon every day, our God, our God Almighty, the great I am, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, in the name of Jesus Christ, may he rescue you. 
Amen. God bless you, child of God. Remember, James chapter 1, verse 19 to 20. Galatians 6, verse 7 and 8. And also James chapter 4, verse 10. This is what the Lord has put in my heart to share with you, believers, on rejection. May the Lord bless you and make his face to shine upon you. God bless you. I love you. But Jesus Christ loves you more. Shalom. Thank you.